Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is an upcoming single-player action-adventure video game developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by EA. Set in the Star Wars universe shortly after Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. The game was announced during E3 in 2018 and a more detailed reveal took place at the Star Wars Celebration in April 2019. The game will be accessible on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It is due for release on November 15, 2019. Set a few years after Revenge of the Sith, one of the last surviving Jedi, Padawan Kel Kesis, has so far escaped the galaxy-wide purge of the Jedi Order, started by Order 66 and is on the run from the Galactic Empire. After attempting to salvage a Venator class, Star Destroyer above the Sarlacc Pit, an accident happens in which Cal has to openly use the Force to save one of his friends from falling into the pit, which is witnessed by a nearby Imperial probe droid. The droid transmits the footage to the Empire, causing Cal's true identity to be revealed to the Imperials. The Empire dispatches the second sister, an Inquisitor trained by Darth Vader, to hunt down the Padawan and eradicate the remaining Jedi Knights. In Fallen Order, players take control of Cal Kesis, portrayed by Cameron Monaghan, as he attempts to survive while being chased by the Empire, including the Inquisitor, his second sister. Throughout his journey, young Cal will visit both new worlds and iconic ones from Star Wars lore, such as Kashyyyk, with the assistance of the rebel extremist Saw Gerrera, portrayed by Forrest Whitaker, and his mentor, Seer Gunda, portrayed by Deborah Wilson. The gameplay is that of an action-adventure designed for players to jump into a situation and deal with it through having lightsabers and force powers, not to use stealth elements to avoid combat. Unfortunately, there is not an option to play a dark side path through the game. In combat, force usage consists of three different abilities, force push, force pull, and force slow. It will be up to each player to decide which one will be used at any given time. The game was created using Unreal Engine 4, drawing inspiration from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Walker, and The Dark Souls series. The design team's goals for the game design were to include creating a deep combat system and incorporating aspects from Metrovania map design. The studio also collaborated with Lucasfilm to create new characters and locations. Fallen Order takes some of your favorite things from some of your favorite games and carefully places them in your favorite universe. It has the combat from God of War or similar instinctive action games only with lightsabers cauterizing decapitated limbs. It has the dungeons from 3D Zelda games with lengthy, inventive puzzle sequences and mini-boss fights. Bonfires from the Dark Souls series, complete with retrieval system in place when some nasty enemies decide to murder you. It has a traversal mechanics from Uncharted and Tomb Raider, complete with huge walls to scale, ropes to swing on, and icy tunnels to slide through. Also featured are skill trees, shortcuts to unlock, unlockable character and droid skins, and lightsaber parts to collect. It's a third-person action-adventure game through and through, with a refreshing chronological story to boot. It's not to say that Fallen Order is just relying on other games to stand on, however, only that it combines some excellent systems that work really well and gives them a Star Wars spin. Fallen Order seems to understand that Star Wars is much more than just an intergalactic war with sword fights and aerial warfare in space. It realizes that it's about mystery and discovery, about ancient religions, magical superpowers, and exotic worlds. 
It's a video game that understands those parts of the universe really well, which is going to make it a magical experience. What we'll know for sure on its release is there's a new hope for the Star Wars gaming universe.